YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, Thomas and I are in California, Burbank to be specific. I got that milk money, heard you in the mood for a little milkshake. And we're going to a ramen shop called, one sec, Copan Ramen 2. I'm super excited, it's my first time getting ramen. And apparently, you can choose between 12 ounces, 16 ounces, spicy, non-spicy, super spicy, chicken breast, pork, fatty pork. Hi, good. Thank you. Do you guys need more time or then? I've never had ramen before. Okay, so take your time. Okay, thanks. What are you going to get? You know what I'm getting. Oh, I need to tell you two. I'm getting the spicy chicken because I like to have a lot of protein in my meal. I'll get lots of rice with it too. What about vegetables? I don't, there's not much veggies in this picture. Look at this, look at this picture. Um, I think that's like kale. <laughs> yeah, there's like a, a leaf there. So it serves with broccoli and I want Well, you guys, this is what happened. That is kimchi. I think it's like spicy cabbage. This is your uh, American macaroni and cheese salad. Jalapenos. What is that? Tofu? It's cold, whatever it is. I think it's tofu. Bean sprouts? Is it supposed to be Rice. cold? I don't know, I've never been here before. Ramen, chicken, bamboo. I think that's your soup. Right. Supposedly that egg is going to cook in there. <laughs> Supposedly. Uh, there we go. Thank you. It's sizzling. What do you think? It's going to be sizzling in my belly pretty soon. <laughs> you guys, I assembled my ramen bowl. This is what it looks like. Can you see? So Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for being, I don't know if you can hear the echoing in this video, but ooh, what is wrong with my Okay. I'm so sorry for being absent, um, but I do, you know what? Okay, there's no, okay. So basically what has been happening is, um, so this summer you guys know that, oh, let's start. Hold on, we'll, we'll find a good place to fill. Okay, so you guys know that this summer I was doing an internship. Well, my internship ended, and then I hopped on a plane, went to go visit Tom in LA. So that was super fun. I really didn't vlog at all, because I haven't seen him in about a month and a half. And you know, it's always kind of awkward, or not like awkward, but you would rather be spending time with the person that you're hanging out with than like vlogging about it, I guess. And I am five weeks, no, four weeks out from universities. The university is just got switched from Baton Rouge to freaking Louisiana, or no, Baton Rouge to New Orleans, which is not really that big of a deal, except for the fact that Tom and I already booked our flights to Baton Rouge, and you know, like if you ever tried to like switch a flight before, there's like at least a $200 change fee, and then you have to pay the difference, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna take a bus. Um, it's only about an hour and a half away, which is kind of more of just a really bad inconvenience than it is anything else. So yeah, we're still gonna go. I'm super, super excited. I think this week my volume is like the highest my volume is gonna be at because in the, ne in the next week it'll be three weeks out so I'll do my three week pre-comp cycle, meso cycle. I don't okay, really YouTube, know. Okay YouTube, Kevin, my brother is about to do a cereal challenge. Kevin, what are you about to do? I'm about to eat cereal. How much cereal? Enough. How much is enough? This is the bowl, my friends. To show how much cereal is in it, we're gonna pour and pour and pour and pour and pour. And Kevin, you can do it, Emily. What does that mean? Why are you throwing gang symbols at us? Ah! You don't get a spoon. What am I, a dog? Here's your Asian spoon. How long do you think it'll take, Emily? Like 20, 15 minutes. 
What time is it? 2.30. We'll check back when you're done. Do you have any last words? Happy birthday, Mom. Yay! You uh -huh. finished it. Ta-da. And it is 2.40. Well, technically finished it at like 2.39. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, September 3rd. I'm pretty sure. I'm back in lacrosse. School starts on Tuesday. Pretty sad about it. But that's okay because I'm back training at the rec. Um, so a little update for you guys. I know I've been really, really bad at vlogging and I'm super sorry. But it's been hard for me to prioritize vlogging over other things in my life. For instance, training. Um, I'm trying to get really, really focused on universities, which is in T minus 20 days, but I'm not really counting. Um, so basically what I've been doing, I think I kind of told you guys, um, all summer we've been working on getting really strong because my legs are pretty weak, but, and for the past, I don't know, eight weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, I don't know, a long time, I've been squatting before every session. So I train five times a week and Monday, Tuesday, I back squat first and then do whatever. Wednesdays I front squat and then Thursday, Friday I back squat again. So basically what happened was um, I haven't maxed out snatch or clean and jerk or back squat or front squat in a really long time. I guess it's just not something that we're focusing on right now. But basically my numbers got up to 5%. So my back squat, front squat, snatch and clean and jerk got up to 5% based on like what Tom thinks that I'm capable of doing right now. So those are the numbers that I've been working on. I've been feeling really good actually um, the first couple like days or like a week or two into doing like the 4 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2 plus 3 whatever <laughs> complexes. I was feeling really 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 tired and slow and sluggish but after I kind of got used to it my body adapted I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I actually had a really great training session yesterday, um, had no misses and I know like misses aren't something that should be dwindled on but um, I'm a pretty consistent lifter, I would say, and even if I miss like one snatch a day or like one jerk a day, it's kind of just like, no, like really sad for me. So um, yeah, I think I guys, I told you guys this, but every time that I don't have a, a miss in my training log, I put like this really corny smiley face. I'll have to show you guys some time, but today, um, since we are so close to competition, Tom says that I should be working with. Um, heavier weights. I've been doing like up to 85% on snatch and clean and jerks, which is like moderately heavy, but it's kind of just like normal, you know, like you should be able to hit your 90 or 85%. So today I'm going to work up to do doubles for back squat up to a single, two singles at 90%, and then I work up to a single at 90 for snatch after doubles, and then a one plus one for clean and jerk at 90% for two singles. And so yeah, I'm super excited, but what I'm really sad about, the worst part about universities, obviously, is that we do compete in a sport where there are weight classes, and um, sometimes you have to cut weight for the meet. I think last meet I had to cut two, so it was kind of unfortunate, but I think I weighed in yesterday at like 55, which is the highest I have ever weighted at in my whole life, and uh, um, instead of being discouraged about this, I'm actually really excited about it, because Ever since I started weightlifting, well, my first meet I weighed in at 51 kilos, which is not a lot of kilos, and I thought that was heavy at the time. And so my coach at the time said, okay, Trey, I'm like, don't worry, it'll only be a matter of time before you fill out your weight class. And so I said, what does that mean? And he basically said, like, filling out your weight class is training like a kilo or two, or sometimes three or like two and a half kilos above your competition body weight. And so basically for the past like two years, I've just been training and obviously with training, um, when you get more muscles, your muscles get hungry and then you eat more. And so that's kind of been happening to me. Um, for a while, I kind of stayed at the same body weight, like 53s. And then when I bumped up to 54s, I was like, oh my gosh. And then when I finally got to 53 or 55, I kind of had to like suppress the feeling to be like a typical girl and be like, oh my gosh, I weigh so much right now. But I know in the long run, since I am an athlete, that my body is meant to do these things like I'm eating to fuel my body I'm eating so I can do a heavy snatch heavy clean jerk back squats front squats pulls whatever and I feel great honestly but I just wanted to um, vlog today because I don't know I just wanted to say hi um, and so I'm gonna do a quick body check and here we go okay so 
this is kind of weird because I've never done this before on my channel before on my channel, but this is what I currently look like. I think, yeah, yesterday I told you guys I weighed in at 55, so here's just like an overview. I have really long femurs, short legs, and a really long torso for my height. I'm 5'2", and so, oh, it's kind of dark. And so this is this. It's a red. It's a really dark. Still really dark, and it's blurry. Okay. So yeah, see you guys in training.